What's up with you, cutie pie? Oh, go say hello. You go say hi. Okay, big yawn. Big yawn. Hi. Bye. See when we come in there? Okay. I'm coming. Okay, I'm back in my office where Sadie wants to be. <laughs> and I totally get it. My office is actually located in the very back end of our RV. And I'll show you a different angle of that toward the end of this video. Today, I want to talk a little bit about how changing things up can affect your intuition. And I want to share with you some adorable little campground bunnies I met. Okay, let's start with the bunnies because why not, right? We stayed at Blith Island Regional Park in Brunswick, Georgia, and it was a beautiful park, absolutely beautiful. We get there, we land. One of the first things I wanna do after we set up is go for a quick bike ride and check the park out. It's just a regular day, biking around, you know, looking at this, looking at that. I come across the parking lot in the park, and next thing I know, I see bunnies adorable bunnies. So I stopped my bike and all of a sudden they started hopping on over to me. And I don't know where my brain went. It went into this magical world of, I can't believe these wild rabbits are hopping toward me. This is so magical. <laughs> Cause I had no clue there were rabbits on the property. Hello little one. Oh, hello. Uh, hi. Hi. It took me a few seconds, you know, my first reaction was like, oh, this is so exciting. And then it clicked. Not that long. Didn't take that long. All right. But then it did click. I went, okay, these aren't wild rabbits. These are domesticated rabbits. <laughs> and I soon figured out that, you know, people come there and they feed them. One clue for me was each and every one of them had one little white paw. Plus they were so friendly. And it wasn't so much magic as much as I was a human and I might have carrots. So of course, what do I do? I buy some old school carrots, get back on my bike, head right back over to these adorable little bunnies and spend the afternoon blissfully feeding rabbits. Doesn't get any better than that. I was filled up with joy. I had bliss for the rest of the day. It was an absolutely wonderful experience, which led me to want to talk to you about this. When it comes to being stagnant, being stuck in a routine, which we all do, it happens all the time, that state can slow down your intuition. That state can hinder the flow of your intuitive channel. And when you mix things up, even if it's a little thing, right? Even if it's running across adorable little bunnies that you never knew were there, right? Or going to a new location or changing up your schedule doesn't even take much. You can, instead of, you know, getting ready first and then having breakfast in the morning, have breakfast in the morning and then get ready. It's as simple as that. Make some small changes and you'll start to see your intuitive channel open up more and more. It's that stagnant energy that can sometimes slow us down. And this really hit home when we hit the road. Ever since we started full-time RVing, my intuition has really ramped up even more. I thought it was strong before and now I'm having these amazing intuitive experiences. And I realized it's because we're going to new locations all the time. We're seeing new things all the time. And it's joyous and wonderful and fun, and I love to travel, but the side effect of intuition becoming stronger and having even more and more intuitive experiences is a very welcome side effect. Now, logically, a lot of people have said to me, you know, isn't it a lot of work? I mean, you move, we move every one to two weeks to a new location. And people say, isn't that just a ton of work, all the setup, all the tear down? Well, I want to share with you our setup because you're, it's surprisingly simple and surprisingly quick. Okay, time for a little behind the scenes look at what our setup is. Like I said, it makes total sense that someone would say, isn't this a lot of work? 
every time you move to do all this setup and tear down. And in many cases, it can be full for, for a full timer. But we set ourselves up when we hit the road with the kind of equipment that really, really makes it very simple. And I'm not kidding. It takes like 15 minutes to set up. Let me walk you through it. Once we've pulled into the campsite, it's just a couple of quick steps. I walk around to the other side. This is where the electronics, the water supply, all of that is located. And we have a unit where everything is electric. So the first step to get the RV off of the truck. So the first two legs here in the front are gonna go down. I sped it up just a little bit here. And once they go down, then they lift the RV right up and off of the hitch. Once that's done, Terry's gonna be able to drive the truck right out from underneath there. And then we can do the next step, which is to auto level. Now, this is what I mean by we set ourselves up. This one button, and I sped this up for you a little bit too, but this one button, literally levels the entire RV out for us. So we don't have to do it manually. This saves so much time. I would estimate, this is sped up a little bit, but I would estimate it's about two to three minutes time for the entire unit to level itself. And when it's done, the light goes solid and we know we can go into the camper and get everything set up. So the next step is to open up the slide outs. Well, actually the next step is to get a ladder so we can actually get in to the RV. <laughs> but the slide outs come out and these come out on actually both sides so that once they're all the way out, you go inside and now the inside has become large roomy living space. Love that. And last but not least, Ugh, we got to hook up the septic. I leave this to Terry. He's just, he's just a good man. <laughs> okay, I know I said the last but not least, this is actually the last step and I love this part of our RV. This is a ramp that comes down to expose a back deck. Now, remember when I said my office was in the back of the RV, right through those doors there? Yep, that is my office. And I absolutely love it. I have been able to spend my days doing my work, looking out over mountains, over rivers, lakes, seeing all different types of animals. It has been absolutely spectacular. So not only do I get to do a job that I love, but I get to do it and connect with Mother Earth. Do me a favor this week. Make one small change in your routine and watch your intuition spark.